Welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod, and we're doing stuff. I don't know what. Yeah, I do know what. I came on here for a reason. You know it. It ain't for him, although that's soon. I could hit Welcome to Shield now, but what's the point? It's just day one. We all know what day one is. It's easy stuff. Even the last note is easy stuff. We wait for day two, and then we'll hit day one and two simultaneously. What does that mean? It means tomorrow night. Okay, tomorrow night, welcome to Shield, Deathlock. We'll get you then. For now, I only got it. I did. I didn't do this last week. I did the same thing. Crash the Titans last couple hours. I'm just bad. At, I'm bad at this. I'm procrastinating a lot, and I need to stop. <sighs> yada yada yada. Real life, family, work, all that stuff. You guys understand, but it's all true. It just you know it happens. What are we doing? First one on the left here. Crash the Titans against three star beast with a really weird makeup. Three in blue, four in green, one in yellow. Um, beast, uh, to, to, how do I even classify him? Um, well, he's got a cheap blue that makes special tiles, okay? Uh, he's got a, a decent area you know like a team attack in his green it does some board shake and his yellow is an okay team heal uh that also provides some defense if you have a blue special tile out which you probably do because beasts blue is cheap so you should have something out um that's if you're using them when beast first rocked on the scene as a three star i was pretty darn excited way 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 way, way back in the day because i don't know i think hank mccoy is a cool character um <clears throat> He was definitely a healer more than anything else, but he does provide some special tiles and team damage if you need to. But, it, you know, it's three-star level. It's not that big of a deal. It does okay. The nice thing is it is cheap. It's six for his blue. I think it's like nine for his green and like eight for his yellow, something like that. I Don't quote me on it. They're close numbers. Um, it's not hard to play Beast. It's just... <clears throat> defensive defensive is the word i'm looking for you it's more defensive and healing based than it is offensive so whoever we're using in this fight shouldn't be too hard of a deal okay so who is it cho the totally amazing awesome whatever hulk um let's get rid of these these boosts don't need these on i was playing some pvp earlier so uh cho is a real interesting character kind of different when he jumped onto the scene um, back in the Dizay, he was uh, hot on the heels of coming out with, um, like, they already had three-star Scarlet Witch, right? And three, so we all know three-star Wanda does that whole deal where she makes a countdown, and that countdown leads to making some purple tiles out there, which is pretty much guarantees you some purple AP every so many rounds, right? Well, they said, hey, let's double down on that with this Hulk guy, you know? Um, and that's his blue passive, uh, which you probably should put at five if you have the chance to, because it's probably one of the best reasons to use them. Two turn blue countdown tile, and it deals damage, and it converts four random basic tiles to green. So it's a little worse than Wanda's stuff because it's random tiles. It's not the ones immediately around it. It's not going to mismatch. What's up, John? What's the mismatch about? Um, willing to listen. I'm not sure what the mismatch means. I'm going to keep uh, chit-chatting in while, while we get that sorted out, John. Um, anyways, um, so yeah. He makes four random green tiles across the board, whereas Wanda makes a cluster of purples, which leads to, like, you know, obviously guaranteed purple AP, uh, gar almost guaranteed match fives, not always. Um... This doesn't lead to that. You're not guaranteed to get that green. You're not guaranteed to get a match five or four even. Uh, it's just a chance at extra green stuff. But it is damage every turn. Oh, this fight's too easy? Of course it's too easy. You're a four star and it's a three star. It definitely is, John. I thought you were saying something about what I was saying was mismatched data or something. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this should be an easy fight for most people. Of course, if you don't have a good Cho, even Cho isn't leveled up for some reason or doesn't have covers, it could be different. But, you know, 
I'm not going to be able to show you that because I don't have like a level show to play around with. Um, I'm going to hit his black next only because his green is probably like one of the best reasons to use him besides that blue. Um, his black is weird. Uh, I'm going to put it at 5 so you can see what it's best at. For 7 black, which is kind of cheap, you heal. It's just a little bit of healing. It's not a lot of healing for 7 black. You'd think it'd be a little bit more for a 4 star. Uh, but it does convert 6 blue or green basic tiles to charge tiles. It is a cheap way, 7 black, to get 6 charge tiles on the board. Is that the best use for him? You don't really think in charge tiles when you think of Cho, but he is an option for that. Um, and also, it's not a bad setup if you think you can, like... Like maybe there's an easy blue or green match on the board. We'll use this first. If you can turn them in the charge tiles, that's all the better for you and your AP growth. I put it at three because honestly his blue and his green is where it's at. Just saying. Um, <laughs> thanks, John. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Um, finally, the Mastermind Excello. This is really expensive, but it's worth it. It's 13 green. I usually don't like to put all my eggs in the expensive pot or basket or whatever you want to call it, but it's just a good power. If you get the 13 green, which isn't that hard to do with him, but it, you, know, may, you might get bad board luck, who knows? But if you can get it, it's a decent amount of damage, just straight up. 14.5k at where the level I'm at right now. Destroys a 3.3 3 by 3 block of tiles. A selected block, I should say. But if you have at least 12 AP, which remember, his blue is passive. Okay, so if you have at least 12 blue AP, you deal an extra 10k damage on top. Okay? Otherwise, you just destroy seven other random basic tiles. Um, it's good board shake, and it's good damage. It just it does all that stuff. Better yet, when um, Sinister Six rolls around... I, I still implore you, if you don't have a five-star uh, Mighty Thor in your back pocket, uh, this guy's your truth, okay? He helps you build green really fast, and then Doc Ock rolls in with that reactor. His Mastermind Excel, literally, you just select that reactor tile, or the tiles next to it, for that matter, and you punch right through it, and he's dead. Literally. That's how it works. Um, if he's not dead, because maybe you didn't do enough damage, He's at least stunned for five turns because he killed his reactor. Cho is an easy way to kill Doc Ock in a Sinister Six scenario. Um, there's other characters that do pretty good as well, but I'm here to talk about Cho. So um, I would never doubt using Cho in that setup if you don't have a Mighty Thor at your disposal. Anyways, for this fight, we're obviously going to rely on getting green. We're going to rely on punching Beast in the face. And we're going to rely on making this a one-on-one -on -one with all animations fight. Ready? Animations on. Okay. So, I don't see no blues. I don't see no greens. I do see a black. So, we're going to go with that. Hmm... I guess I'll take the match five. I mean, why wouldn't I, right? It seems silly not to. Mm. Do I take the blue or do I take the black? Take the blue or take the black? I'm going to take the black because I really don't care if he takes the blue. I'm not, I'm not afraid of this fight. I'm going to wait until a green match is available and then I'll use that black. You know? Because... If that happens, well, <laughs> okay, we're thinking about it. We've got our concentrating face on. Okay, so there's a bunch of green matches out there. So now I'm going to use this. Oh, yeah, I can't pass up match fives, John. No way. Okay, so um, at least one of them is matchable up here. You know, that, that green right up there at the top? I can match that now. So I'm getting more AP than what I got before. You know the blues are easily matchable by them either, so that's good. We don't need to give Beast more help. It might be an easy fight, but... So I'm going to take this green into black, into blue, Cascade, because that's fun. Um, I will take 
Well, I wish I had more green. If I take this blue, if I get enough green, this is the end of it. Because now I got enough to do the big, big punch. I mean, it was already going to be the end of them, but you know. Um, let's just do it. So next move is big punch time. We get to see all the animations so far too, so that's good. Uh, where do we want to punch? Does it matter? It, it doesn't. It's just, you know, semantics. Right there. Boom. A nice Hawaiian punch. Pow right in the kisser. There we go. So we'll take that. Thank you very much. Latest Legends token. Need to replenish that stock after that pull, so pull vid, right? And then... The other one, Crash Titans against the Punisher. I don't understand why Cho has to fight the Punisher or the Beast, but you know, this is what we're doing. At least in the Punisher's case, it is the same colors. So we're gonna be fighting for the blacks, the blues, the greens. This will still be easy though. Look at his numbers, three, four, and one. He's not really fighting with everything on his side. Um, um, you know, usually when I talk about a character when they're brand new to the game, like when they first showed up in the game, what they did for the game, there's something I can point out. Like, oh, that was the first time we had this sort of power. Or, this is the first sort of time, first time that we had this mechanic, or they shook up the meta this way. Big Pun didn't do a lot of that stuff. Um, if anything, the only thing Punisher, Four Star Punisher, brought to the table that was different was his green stuns all your allies it was really weird you know like oh cool here comes the punisher like let's see what he does on a four star land he stuns your friends what kind of shenanigans is this <laughs> who wants that on your side and then you look at his black which actually well it's kind of good like his black is decent but when all your allies are stunned or down his black is actually cheaper and more effective so, I mean, you got that going for you, but still, who wants your allies to be stunned or down? It's kind of a weird thing to do. The other thing to note about him is his blue is a is an active ability. It puts out a strike tile on the board. Uh, more importantly, to an extent, and I say to a very small extent, um, it has a passive that it improves the um, the potency of all your friendly strike tiles on the board. Um. But let's be honest, it's not enough to write home about. Because, like, if you put up to, like, level 5, it's only 25% more potency of your strike tiles. So, yeah. I don't have any reason to put big 4-star Punisher on my team. Sorry. Frank Castle just needs a little bit of rework, if you ask me. But that green is strong if you can hit with it. His black is strong if you can hit with it. It's just... They, there's just negatives to it. Like, I don't want my friends to be stunned or down to do max damage, you know? Anyways, let's go on and give him a big old pow right in the kisser, right? Same plan. Build green. Punch him in the face. Go. Uh, I mean... He needs all the same colors I need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match this green up because that's gonna lead to the greens into a blue cascade and potentially a black could fall and make another black match. Um, so we're just gonna hope and see what happens here. And it didn't fall, but that's okay. So you might ask yourself here, what's more important, the green or the blue or the black? You got all three of them out there. Well, you don't need the blue per se. The blue just makes your green better. But if I use that green, he's dead anyways. Doesn't matter how much blue I have. The black is probably your last choice, okay? So match the green if you have to choose colors. <clears throat> oh, you might also be wondering, hey, does Punisher get that whole thing out there if his, if he's the only person you're fighting against? Um, no, he doesn't. Because he says all allies have to be stunned or downed. He technically doesn't have that. He has no allies. So he only does better if he has friends out there that can't do anything. Not airborne. That doesn't count. They have to be stunned or downed. And he has no friends right now in this fight. So he doesn't even get the proper bonuses. Anyways. Poor Frank. Luck's never on his side, is it? Um, 
I don't have a good match. I guess I'll just do that. I saw that purple cascade, but I didn't care about purple. And team up damage still does more than purple, because, you know, at least it's team up damage is like a default thing. I guess I'll take that black. Ugh. It's a horrible board. Lonely Punisher gets no boost in solo. Sad Punisher. Yeah, it is, John. He's a sad boy. It's really not fair. <laughs> You'd think Frank Castle could at least get a... I know he's got a sad life at times, but... I mean, give him some love in the video game. <laughs> um, I don't need yellow. I don't need purple. I'll just take the team up because it's better damage. Let him take that stuff, you know? So we have enough green. I mean, you guys already know how this fight's going to go, right? I don't need to drag this out anymore. We're just going to punch him right in the face. Um, like right about here. Just for fun. I don't know. We're just picking a spot. Whee! See how I did more board shake, though? More tiles were hit because I didn't have 12 blue. That's kind of what it looks like. Just more shake. So... Yay! Latest Legends token! And that's it! That's the totally awesome Hulk, Amadeus Cho, Crash the Titans. Okay? So, what we're doing tomorrow, don't forget. Welcome to Shield Deathlock. We're going to get him on in there. We're going to see how he looks, how he rolls. I mean, I shouldn't say how he looks because he looks ugly. But um, beyond that, we're going to roll with him through day one and day two of his Welcome to Shield. And uh, expect that tomorrow, probably tomorrow evening. Um, you know, we have work, family stuff, all that junk. So, you know, busy life. Thank you very much for joining, John. Oh, what's that? You have three star red is all the love we need from him. I think it's red. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. His um, basically insta kill if the enemy has like 40% or less health. If you have it at level five. Yeah. Same here, John. I think Deathlock is going to be a pretty good guy. Um, if you just look at like some of his abilities, I, I think there's a lot of potential in here. I'm not going to go into it right now because that's what tomorrow is going to be about with Welcome to Shield. Um, we'll abuse the best much of it as we can then. So, yeah, yeah, his yeah, you're right. Three star Punisher's one shot kill with that red. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world but it's a great team up when someone sends you a team up and it's punishers red that's a decent thing like you could be fighting boss apocalypse and you have him down like from 20 like 200,000 health down to 40,000 or something i'm just making up numbers here right but oh you're less than 40 percent pow dead anyways okay i'll talk to y'all later thanks for joining john and i'll see you guys tomorrow later